J. Friends. Today we are looking at another one of Jesus' parables. This one is the parable of the mustard seed. This story will help us to learn just how big God's kingdom really is, and even the smallest thing, like a mustard seed, can make a big difference. I have here a pile of mustard seeds. Because some of you may not know just how tiny they are, so I thought I would show you compared to the size of a nickel. They truly are very tiny. So, prayer is a big part of your faith. And it is like the water a mustard seed needs to grow. Just like the tiny seed needs water every day to grow and stay strong, your faith needs prayer every day to grow and strengthen. So, now let us pray to help us grow our mustard seeds of faith. Dear God, we pray that the little mustard seed of faith that you have planted within each of us will continue to grow as we learn to know you better. Amen. Shalom, please. Today's stories are based on Matthew 13, 31 to 33, and 44 to 45. These are stories of God's shalom. Shalom is a Hebrew word. It means something like peace, but it means more than that. Jesus told many parables to help us understand shalom. Maybe he was laughing a little when he told this one. God's shalom is like a mustard seed, Jesus said, as he held a tiny seed in his hand. See how tiny it is? You think a mustard seed can only grow into a small plant? Well, pretend that it can grow big as a tree. Pretend that birds will come and make nests in its branches. Everyone laughed. A mustard plant as big as a tree? Yes, Jesus laughed too. God's shalom is like that. Then Jesus told an even funnier story. You know the yeast people use to make bread? You can't see how the yeast works. It just bubbles around inside the bread. Well, suppose a woman took a tiny bit of yeast. Suppose she mixed it with a lot of flour and water. The yeast would work inside the dough. After a while, she would have enough bread to feed a hundred people. You mean one tiny bit of yeast could make all that flour into bread? Someone asked. That's right, Jesus smiled. God's shalom is like that. You can't see it at work. But it's there all the time, working in you and working in me. Here's another way to think about God's shalom, said Jesus. God's shalom is like a treasure hidden in a field if you knew about that treasure, you would go and sell all the things you had. Then you would take the money and buy the whole field. You would want the treasure to be yours. Should we want God's shalom that much? The people asked. Yes, said Jesus, that much. Matthew 13, verse 33. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until it was all leavened. The song of the week he, is he's got the whole world in his hands.
he's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got everybody here. In his hands, he got the whole world in his hands. Hooray! Okay, K4J friends, it's t activity time. Today we are making a painting related to our parable. We are going to paint the mustard seed. We are going to paint a great big tree. For today's activity, you will need a white piece of paper, paint in the colors brown, green, and yellow, a paintbrush, a pencil, or a marker, and since it's going to get a bit messy, you're going to need water and a paper towel to clean up with. Let's get painting. Okay, so now we're going to start painting. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our tree trunk. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your brown paint and you're going to cover your hand in brown paint. It may tickle a little. <laughs> Cover our whole hand in brown paint. We have Grace here helping us today. Tickling. Put your fingers flat, please. This feels tickly. And we're going to paint our whole hand. We're also going to put a bit of paint down your arm <laughs> just like a tree trunk <laughs> once you get it all painted you're gonna flip your arm over mm -hmm. and press it down onto the paper like a tree you're gonna press really tight press 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 get it all down and then lift up and we have our tree trunk we're gonna fix it with the paintbrush but now we need to wash our hands okay our tree looks a little skinny so we're gonna take our paintbrush and we're just gonna fix it a bit and give that tree a nice big fat trunk And fill in all the gaps. Once you've got that all done, we're going to start on the next part. We're going to do our mustard seed. For our mustard seed, Grace is going to take her pinky, she's going to dip it in the yellow paint, and we're going to do one finger dot on the paper so we have our little mustard seed. You have a paper towel here, you can wipe it off. And now we're going to do the rest of our tree. We can use a, your big thumb or any of your other fingers. You're going to dip it in your green paint and then you're going to press it down and you're going to make a bunch of leaves. Fill in that tree. Nice big tree full of leaves. Don't cover up your fingers too much. Okay, now that you have your tree all painted, we're going to take our black marker and we're going to write on the page, nice and bold, Parable of 
the, and we run out of room at the top, so we'll put it down here. Mustard seed. And there we have our completed painting, which includes our mustard seed, which grows into a great big tree. I hope you have fun making a tree of your own. Our fathers who are in heaven, our be dining thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and deliver us from evil, that in the kingdom, propound the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In our story today, Jesus told three parables. The parable of the mustard seed, the parable of the yeast, and the parable of the field, representing the kingdom of God. Do you think that you can help to grow the kingdom of God? Yes. Even if you're a child, you can still do great and mighty things for God. Because your small acts of kindness and faith will grow and help build God's kingdom. His shalom, as the story calls it. I hope you learned a lot today. Special thank you to Sarah, Jerry, Lily, Grace, Gabrielle, and Tisani. See you next Sunday for the feeding of the 5,000. Thank you for joining us today.